Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Matt. Um, so I propose to redevelop this space of grass right outside of uh, Knox Road and Rhode Island Avenue. Um, to start off, the reason I want to redevelop this area is because I'm, I'm affected by it every single day. I walk past it. I've hung out in it. Uh, obviously, you guys have seen it before, just the plot, plot of grass. It's pretty much not being used for anything. And there are so many people that walk by this area that are affected by this area that I thought it would be a great place to you know, put something useful in there. Um, so obviously, I've been here the last past three years. I'm a junior at the University of Maryland. Um, and through the past two years, I've lived in this neighborhood back here, and I've noticed the amount of people that keep coming in, new families, single-home families, uh, about a block away from this area, there's new homes being built. So this this area is continuing to change, continuing to grow and develop. So I feel like this is a, a great piece to start that development with when we're talking about sustainable places. As the plan mentions, I want to put in uh, lights that use solar panels and re um, sustainable bins that have recycling and compost as well as trash. And I really feel like that will kick off the initiative to try to get the rest of the College Park area to go green. I feel like that's a really good step. People really people can see how easy it is to install these lights and how practical they are and how good they look, as well as how easy it is to just throw you know away your waste in a recyclable manner, which is a great step into becoming a more sustainable place. Beyond that, the connection we'd be able to gain from the playground as well as the benches and the basketball court allows people from all types around here to con congregate in one area. We always have a bunch of families, single families with you know young kids, adults, and then we have a lot of college kids in the area. Basketball court and field allows for the college kids to come out, you know, hang out, play basketball, toss the ball around, while the kids are able to play on the playground and the parents are able to sit on the benches. And I feel like it really just integrates the entire community to come as one. Um, again, that's that's one of the biggest things you're able to network and talk to individuals you wouldn't necessarily be able to regardless. Uh, but I, the biggest challenge is always, of course, the money. So I came up with a couple plans for that. Uh, we can go to city council and talk down to the city council and the mayor. We can go to University of Maryland, and or we could talk to the homeowners association. So PGPOA is a homeowners association around here, which I'm sure some, at least most of you, are familiar with. And I'm actually a part associate member of the organization, and I've been a part of there and talked to some of the plans they try to put in place. And you know, they could it would help them out because it raises the economic value for everyone that has a property in this area. Um, beyond that, the University of Maryland, as I mentioned before, there's a ton of college kids in the area, and it would help you know benefit them to have a more successful, sustainable area that you know spreads around through the rest of the campus community. Um, and then additionally, we could obviously go through the mayor because it does help the city of College Park as a whole. Uh, so go through all three of those entities, maybe do a P3, uh, figure it out from there. And I feel like that's a that's a great step to you know get through the biggest hurdle, which is going to be the cost of the project. Uh, so from you guys, I need the commit I need commitment um, support from the committee. You know, obviously we're all members of the College Park area. It would mean a lot if, you know, we could write a letter to the mayor or to the University of Maryland or the Homeward Association talking about how many people are around this idea and how beneficial it would be to the entire community. Uh, I feel like that's, you know, one of the biggest things, one of the biggest ways to help get a project like this developed because it's, in terms of monetary for them, it's not that expensive. It's really only like playground, a couple lampposts, benches, and a blacktop. Um, with the budget of the University of Maryland or the, or the City of College Park, it should be well within their means. If they see a lot of people that have our back and have the back with this project, then it should go very smoothly. And I think that's the best way to attack and try to get this project to actually be completed. Um, thank you for listening to me. I hope you guys agree with what I'm saying. I really do think it would be beneficial to College Park to put this in. Thanks.